morning everybody it's Gina welcome back to the Firefly Studio 67 I've got a journal to share with you guys today this is my latest <coughs> journal completed and uh, I believe this one is is sold um, so we will just get started the closure on this one is a sari silk and it's not attached um, And I think, you know, it's pretty obvious the style of this journal is, um, this is an Amity Bloom inspired. I've got a lot of different layers of laces and trims on here. And there's the back of the cover. Oops, sorry, I'm going on a screen here. Um, so we'll get started with the front. Absolutely love this. I've named this uh, Songbird. So let's just go, I've got uh, multiple layers on the front that's been built up with lots of trim and then a couple of brads there. And then going inside, we've got the flips. And then here I've got fussy cut rose and then a uh, postcard journaling card. And then that's been uh, <coughs> tucked into this little belly band that I created with some fabric ruffle and another little button there. Um, this flip um, recently showed the altered um, jumbo playing cards. This has got some stamping on here and then on the back I've backed it with tea dyed paper. And then I've got this little saying here, this is an embossed pocket. This flips over got uh, some collaging here with Edith Holden and old book pages and then here I've done a um, fabric pocket with this bit of uh, lace stitched onto that so got a nice big pocket there and a, a large journaling card or <coughs> tag sorry so inside here we've got this tag that I've created and that tucks into that little embossed pocket there. Now this went in perfectly fine when I, uh, before I started filming, but that's just typical, isn't it? Um, and then I've got another cluster here with some more lace. And uh, this is Artie Mae's floral collage papers. If you haven't seen those, they are beautiful papers. I, I've been working with those in several journals because I just am drawn back to those papers time and time again. Uh, over here, this is a Tsunami Rose pocket um, and a couple of her tags that I've just added some brads or eyelets to and then some different uh, bits of lace that I've got in my stash. <coughs> And then on this journal, I've created this little, just a little scrappy notepad within the uh, cover there. I love how that's come out. As I said, this one is spoken for, um, unless I hear differently. And then here's a, a um, kind of like a little snippet edge. Another little pocket here with a couple of journaling cards. I've done some stitching around that. And that's old music uh, sheet. Some stitching here. Um, coffee dyed paper. Some uh, inking on the paper. A lot of old book pages and notebook papers. Um, like the previous one. Here I did some collaging with some more of the papers from Artie Mays. And this little pocket is an Edith Holden book page, and then I created this tag to stick in there. I love that uh, scrapbook paper. And then here I stamped that little bird. I just think he's adorable. Got some uh, tracing paper that's been tea dyed in here. I've done some stenciling throughout this journal. Scrappy um, paper ruffle. I love to use those if I've got little bits of uh, cutoffs 
I just save them and, and make ruffles with them. Edith Holden book page, some more uh, collage. Now this is avocado dyed paper. It came out beautiful, this batch did. Um, you know, sometimes it's very pale, but this, this batch came out really deep blush pink, and I, I love it. Here, these are little um, baking paper pockets. I haven't put anything in this one. Um, there's some throughout because the journal was just getting huge. <laughs> um, some of the tabs from Artie Mae's old vintage floral um, book page. And then here I've just taken a, and created a little flip out and then tucked in this little pocket. We've got a envelope that I've not glued together so that it offers more writing. There's, a, there's quite a lot of writing space in this, but <clears throat> I always like to add little um, notebooks and things just to give additional. And here I've done some stitching and stenciling. Really, really love how this journal has come out. And the center of the signatures I've used eat pulled in book pages so that you get the full book page. Um, more stenciling and stitching. And then here um, another I've done some stitching around there. I created a ruffle, a little button from my collection, and another big tag, and then uh, another little stamped journal card that I've made. Artie Mae's background papers. Beautiful, beautiful papers to work with. Here, um, this is from Artie Mae's Foxglove kit, um, and I just love Artie Mae's uh, postcards. They're, they're always just so beautiful. And this being um, kind of a shabby floral themed, I just um, thought those went beautifully with it. Fabric ruffle here, uh, another little tag, journal. Um, this was like a calling card, a vintage calling card. And then this is a stamped image that I've created into a um, journal card. I love how that looks on that page. More stenciling, another little tab. It's a large journal. This is two signature, but I think this has got to be close to, um, gosh, it's probably close on 200 pages. And then here I've just made like a double fabric flip up. And here is another of the little, I love these images. These are from Tracy's shop. And I've turned this into like a, <coughs> a little um, tag that just goes over the book page. And I've backed that with tea dyed paper. So that's just been clipped in here with a uh, one of the tiny Tim Holtz paper clips. More stitching here. And then here I've just made a little flip over. You've got another tag um, tucked inside this pocket. And then here a couple of other little journal cards. Signature 2 we're into. And here I've done a little altered uh, paper clip using some of the banners. And then this is just a printout from the internet, um, just an old cookie recipe. I love how those look in a journal. More stenciling. I love that. That's beautiful. This was a beautiful book. On I can, I've got it in my closet. Uh, my closet. My storage for my the books. But I love the images that came from that old um, floral book. Here, this is a Miss Cog's uh, image, and I thought that went really nice in this. This was a old book page that I folded up, made it into a pocket, and I just thought that looked really nice there. A lot of florals in this. And then here, <coughs> I've got another little envelope with a little card in here that you could do some writing on. And I love how these look folded over a, a page. Let's 
So I hope everybody is doing okay today. Oh, weather, I think it's just gone mad everywhere. Um, I don't actually think it's ever going to stop raining now. <laughs> we have had so much. We've got flooding terrible in the UK. Um, and our river here where I live is it's beyond flooded. It's um, supposed to reach its peak today, and I don't know if it's going to make a record or not, but it is unbelievable. Um, old library um, card, that this is digital, and then this is another stamped image. I love that image. And then I've just added some scraps from my stash. So I'm stitching around here with more stenciling. So yeah, they're predicting rain for the rest of the week, and it's it's really getting very scary now because we're safe where we're at, but oh, there's a lot of people have lost their businesses and homes due to it. Uh, it just seems to be the norm now, doesn't it? Uh, very mild, though. I mean, I woke up this morning. It was incredibly cold. This is a um, Artie Mays little jar. That's gorgeous. This is a double pocket here. Um, this was a Pam from the Paper Outpost idea. I love that style pocket, so check her out. Uh, here I've got another little tuck spot. That's one of my dimensional butterflies. I have to have those in my journals. <laughs> this is a Tracy Fox image. These are beautiful. These are fairly new kit to her shop. And then over here I've got another ruffle with some extra scrapbook paper that I had left over. And I made another tag here. So as you can see, it's very um, shabby chic, vintage. It's totally my, my style. Um, lots of little tags and tickets in this pot. This is the slotted stitch die. And then over here, I've got another book page pocket with this little journal card tucked in. I love how this journal's come out. I'll be honest, um, I really don't want to part with this one, but um, I've got somebody interested, and uh, but it's it's I love it. Oh, uh, here is a um, altered paper clip with some of the glitter glass that I've put onto that. It's beautiful. And then the, this is just a, um, <clears throat> one of the large tags from Artie Mays. Another little flip here with a handmade tag. Flips over and in here I've just tucked various bits of ephemera. Another little stamped ticket from my stamp collection. Another old book page. And then that is the back of the cover, and then it flips over. You know, uh, with this style, you get a lot of flips. So this flips, and then you've got another one here. So some journaling space here, um, and just a bit more of Artie Mae's papers on the back here. I just love it. I love it. It's a nice big signature there, uh, two-inch two signature. But then it's ended up probably closer to three now that it's filled out. But So that is my latest named Songbird. Um, do keep checking my shop because if for some reason the sale doesn't go through, then it will be listed. But as I said, I'm pretty sure that this is sold. Uh, but do stay tuned. I've got... Um, Hopefully, I will have another um, of this style journal coming up uh, very soon. Uh, slightly different, but uh, still with the, the layering is what I'm trying to say. Um, so do stay tuned for that. And this week, I hope to um, do a couple more of the... Um, little tutorials using some of the um, mica powder and acrylic paints if I get time. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for joining me today. I appreciate it so much. 
welcome to all of my new subscribers and um, another hello to, to all of you who have been following me for a while. It is so appreciated. And if you haven't joined my um, giveaway journal challenge, do check that out. It's in the playlist on, or well, just go to the videos on my channel and you can scroll back and find uh, the giveaway and it'll have details in there because it, I'm going to keep it open until all entries have got to be in by the end of March. So you still got time if you want to participate. I would appreciate it. You guys have a great week and I will be back very soon. Bye.